Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm all snugged in back here in the back of the old shop van. Um, we kind of got uh, got a little surprise coming for the uh, for the channel, and a big surprise for me, I think. Uh, an old, it's a high school car. I mean, everybody's got their their, their high school dream car, and um, I think I'm gonna go take a look at one that is my high school dream car. Uh, get that thing brought to the channel. I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it or sell it. Um, may post it up on here. Some of you guys might be interested in the purchase of uh, what I'm going after, whether I keep it or not. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're on a little road trip here. It's going to be a few hours to get down to look at that thing. So um, we're in. We've also got Rod Run that's that's uh, going to take place. Uh, lots of lots of folks are coming into town. Uh, for the Rod Run event. This will be the first of two, I think, for the spring uh, that are coming up. So for those of you that are coming into town, maybe we can meet up and um, we're gonna get this thing purchased, probably set it down here at our local Rod Run event and just see what happens uh, for the resale of it. If it doesn't, hey, like I said, it's my dream car. It won't hurt my feelings a bit to keep it, but if we get it, we get it back to the Rod Run event and we make a little bit of money on it, Hey, that's great too. So, uh, stay tuned. It's exciting. Uh, we've got uh, we've got COVID navigating us here. Um, my wife over here in the uh, passenger seat. We're going to see if we can flip flop around and, and uh, on our driving and get this thing uh, back to the shop. Uh, but we've got a lot to a lot to go over here, and I'm and I'm braced in in this uh, super safe seat back here in the back of the van. And uh, we're going to make it happen, guys. So stay tuned. Exciting. We got video coming of what we are about to purchase. Stay tuned. To the channel, uh, we are at Camp Margaritaville here in Pigeon Forge. We've got called out for a, a trailer that's not where it's supposed to be. Um, and again, it is rod run, so these folks will bring in their car haulers and uh, and they'll just park. They'll park these trailers everywhere. I wonder if they've moved it. Hey buddy. It's this little black trailer right down here across the street. That okay. little patch of grass is ours. Okay. Um, he was told by them not to park there. Did that he did it at his own risk. We told him an hour and a half ago they didn't tell him to move it. He hasn't moved it. So. Okay. Awesome. We'll grab it. All righty. Thanks guys. Thank, Thank you. you. If y'all need anything, call her back at me. Okay. okay. Awesome. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. So you guys heard it straight from the horse's mouth. Um, like I said, Rod Run, uh, you, there's plenty of places to park these trailers, that, but yes. it's, it's like Gatlinburg. They're cheap. They don't want to pay. Right. And um, that's what happens. Well, they're not going to like us. Oh, look, it's like, it's like you're going to have to drive through the grass. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a joy. You don't like when people make you off-road, do you? No, I don't. It's risking my truck. I don't like the risk of my truck. Let's go look and see what we got going on. Okay. go to the driver's side a little bit driver's side you got three inches go down a little bit down. okay hold on you're not under it you need to go closer to the road that looks much better keep coming back toward me just a little bit toward me me Toward me, nope, nope. Yep, you, you've almost got it. You've almost got it, yep, straight back. Straight back, three inches. A little bit more, you're underneath it. You're under it, that's good. Do you want to call the city? Oh, 
Well, that lock's not doing much, is it? Well, not really. trailer by any means. It's got a good bit of damage there. Sunrise. Wasn't us. It's got a lock here. This is unlocked. What Jeff know about that? One's locked. That one's locked. There's a lock on the back that is unlocked. A lock on the back, a lock on the back that is unlocked, yes. And I'm going to grab my phone so that I can get a picture of the tag. It's going to be fun to get out. Where exactly would you say we are? Uh, part of Camp Margaritaville, I guess. Yeah. Plan? Yes, it is. It's going to be awful to get it. Yes, yes it is. It's got a semi tag on that. Oh, you can't go forward, can you? Nope. Parking lot over there? Yeah, right past the no parking sign. Yeah, that one. Yeah. I'll make sure to get that on camera real good. Right, come look at this lock. Yeah, I'm just worried about going that far. I'm gonna maneuver that once we get. Mm. Once we get up there. Locked lock on the other side, yeah. Oh well, can't leave it there, can we? Can we fall off? Seized up. Yeah, that's gonna be off. Yes, it is. No parking anytime. I believe there is a extra parking at campground, it says. I am directly in the center of the exit.
You might be able to just swoop around. This is all solid here. Yeah, you can just swoop around. Great. It's fantastic. Good. Hopefully if anything is in there, it's secured. Looks good. Go left. Okay, yeah, you're good. You're gonna hit the curb. Okay, hold up. Trailer's making some creaky noises. You're gonna clear it. something in there not secured You're beating them banging around you want to cut the side door not really no but I mean whatever you think you need to do there's either something in there beating and banging around or the axles are making weird noises okay I'll shut this off and I'll give them a call Okay. Record service. Hey, is this the towing and repair uh, uh, company? Yeah, Everything we're... auto and towing? Uh, yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Um, my husband and I evidently have had our trailer towed by the Margaritaville people saying we couldn't park it somewhere. Do y'all have a big black box trailer about, what, 20? 28 feet long. Like the curbside of it uh yes ma'am yeah margaritaville called um they said that they talked to you guys a couple of times about parking and um yeah they have not and we are so pissed off at them they said they called our campground and our campground lady said they did not call or they would have sent out a mass text we've parked there for 20 years mm -hmm. and never had a problem because the river's landing people always said we could park there Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden we can't park there, so we're really aggravated yeah. with this margarita crap. Well, he it, when the when the phone call came in, he said that he had told you guys twice, and then he said that you guys just ignored him and parked there anyway. No, he but. is an absolute bold faced liar. And when I get my trailer back, <laughs> I'm going to go up there and talk to him because I'm not going to let my husband go up there and talk to him yeah. because I don't need any more trouble. Yeah, but he's a bold faced liar saying he talked to us twice. We come by just a while ago and noticed our trailer was gone. Mm -hmm. And we called Margaritaville and we called Rivers Landing, which is who we're staying with. Mm -hmm. Rivers Landing said, no, ma'am, we don't tell your trailers. We never have. We never will. Mm -hmm. And I called Margaritaville and I talked to the man who answered the phone and security. said, no, ma'am, we don't tell people's trailers. It can't be us. So he said, you better be calling the police. So we called the police and they come up there and they say, well, let's put out a report and blah, blah, blah. So then the Margarita people come down there mm -hmm. to talk to us with the police officers there and mm -hmm. said yeah i had it towed i've told you people twice we said you didn't talk to us on the phone or in person you're a bold face liar mm -hmm. yeah that's crazy yeah so we, we're uh, really pissed off at this bunch we're so mad we don't know what we're going to do with them yeah but to tow our trailer and then try to make everybody think 
they told us we're respectable business people that spend a lot of money in this county. Yeah. Every time these car events happen, mm-hmm. and we've never, ever been treated like this by anybody because we're not troublemakers. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, they just, they, they called us to do a thing, and, uh, and, um, yeah, and we, and we reported it to the police department last night. It was 835 is when the phone call, when we reported it. So they had it all yeah. on record. I'm not sure. It must have been a mix, mix up with dispatch. But uh, yeah, yeah 835 well, last night is when he called us. Yeah, because we barely got into town about 430. Mm-hmm. We just parked it, parked our RV, it, you know, went out to eat with friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't even think to go back by and check on our trailer because we've all, you know, there was no need to go look make sure it was okay yeah but hopefully you've got registration in order for me to release it it's got to be the registered owner so i have to match up well, you know paperwork I and things know. like that and i don't have any of that crap with me but i'm going to call my secretary and see if she'll go back to my office okay. and uh yeah if she can just snap can, a picture yeah of it. see if i can find some stuff yeah. to identify i mean i can get the vin number she can take a picture of my title is that good enough that's fine yeah the state okay. just makes me they make me give it back to <laughs> whoever's registered i understand yeah um now let me ask you this how late are y'all there um as long as i know you're coming dear i don't i don't mind a bit uh, so we you know anytime anytime's fine and i just give me okay. kind of a 30 40 minute heads up so i can meet you back here okay. at the gate okay well we're going to go back to our rv and get the keys for it mm-hmm. um so we can hook to it, and I'll get my secretary to go down and get a picture of the the title okay. so I can show to you, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay. All right. We'll get it taken care of. Okay, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everything auto? Hey, I'm trying to pick that trailer up. She'll be there in about 10 minutes. Okay, sir. We'll see you here. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, we did get the... Uh, the trailer back here to the shop um it's a tight squeeze we used to uh we used to put our pontoon boat um kind of off to the other side would have been up at an angle up there and i used to back it up there and chain it to a tree so this is not really any bigger than the pontoon boat but definitely tough to get navigated up our uh, up our roads and um but it's here and hopefully it don't rain tomorrow so i can get some concrete in bay two stay tuned guys Hi, dear. Oh, yeah, that's not good. It's real close. You the troublemaker? Yes, I am. <laughs> I think this proves this is mine right here. You know what I mean? Yeah. They just, I, they just make me make sure. Oh, she can check to make sure. I don't know what the miscommunication was there, brother, but that sounds kind of a really bad deal if he's... It's really, really a bad deal, and he just don't know who he meant with. Yeah, he's... Uh, he's Give us both two different stories, it sounds like. Do you have a registration for that? Um, Here's the registration. <laughs> the you keys. Got you guys got mine without the registration. <laughs> I got it this time. Yeah, it's crazy yeah. over there. Or do you know where the bin is on that? Is it over here on the side? Yeah. I can match that. That's not this. It's the, that's the other trailer. We got eight trailers. Yeah, that's not this one. Do you have a different, do you have a registration or anything? Uh, She's my trying. son went to the office and he got me. Yes. The pl- we can go, I mean, the plate, as long Does as the plate, plate number. number on there? If the plate number matches. You know what, I think I've got an insurance card inside this thing up on well, the that's door. that's my insurance. You got that one? I think that one's on the, that might be in the other truck. We've got so many trailers. This is such a nightmare <laughs> day with this bunch. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, 
Yeah, he uh, he made it kind of sound like he talked to you and you guys just kind of smiled at him and parked there anyway. He did. He told us that straight <laughs> to our face. What? That you that could you... park there? No. He told us. He said, I've talked to you people twice and told you to move. I'm like, you've not talked to us. It's huh. ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I mean, so the... mad at this man. He stood right there in front of the officer and told the officer that... Um, he told us twice to move, and we've not mm -hmm. seen this man. I called their security, and he said, we don't have people's trailers towed, ma'am. It's not us. And then mm. the other guy from up there comes down and says, yeah, I towed it. So I don't know who to believe, and I'm just really, I'm so upset, and I had my son go to the office and try to find the right paperwork for the right trailer, and he don't know what he's looking for. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, well, probably. It's not, the, the, it's not on that one. Not on that one. Well, this one must be the one for the silver trailer that's under the shed at the house. Mm -hmm. Let me call my son, see if there's something else he can. <sighs> you guys just bring something for Rod Run? Is that what you're. Yeah. Well, we've come up to buy stuff always and then. Um... Never had a way to get it home after you buy it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, we bought a golf cart, a Mini Cooper, and then we bought our RV and we used to park it up at. Margaritaville last year and they didn't have a spot so we parked it down at the rivers at Plans. landing. Yeah. Hey. I guess since Go Margaritaville has title bought title. that and I don't know they if they've got the more they got a little crazier with their stuff. Ready on the top of it. Oh they're gonna get crazy. They ain't heard the last of me yet. Yeah I guess well, I'm not sure when that establishment opened up but it's been here just recently that they opened. I know the guy that's developed that the same one that did the one that, where the Ferris wheel is. Yeah. So we know him personally. Yeah. And um, he's an investor of, of, he lives in Knoxville. Uh huh. And um, fix to give him a call when we get our trailer back. Yeah, that's. They should not treat people like this. This is wrong. Hmm. And they never gave us any warning. And Riverside Landing always let us park there. And so I guess that used to belong to Riverside Landing, and yeah. now Margaritaville's bought so it. When we yeah. would do that, when we tie a flat uh, a ribbon around it, and then we marked it. Mm -hmm. And the girls in the office had not talked to anybody from Margaritaville. I wonder what they're going to do with that lot. They're just going to put like a little Can't sign, or they, they, they just own it and useless. they don't. Yeah, it's absolutely useless. Yeah, because when he initially called me, I thought it was going to be somebody up physically in their no, it's not hard. campground up there. Trailer. Yeah, but. Uh, no, that's the Hodges trailer. Thank you. Yeah, it's a black box trailer. It's the one that Chase ran into at the golf cart. It's the biggest one you got. No. <laughs> I got a 48 foot. You wouldn't have got the biggest one. Yeah. No, you wouldn't have got the biggest one up here. It's 48 foot um, fifth wheel. Yeah, and I don't know it what the confusion is. was because we could, it was eight eight thirty five. We called it into the local PD and they put it on their pass along, but mm -hmm. for whatever reason, it's a big mess. Mm -hmm. Somebody the didn't read it. Somebody didn't read it. Said oh. he come and talked to us and told yeah. us to move our trailer. And we was uh, in fact, we, we went over by the fourth place to eat badly mm -hmm. and eight forty something. Acknowledge his existence, so he yeah. towed sure. our trailer. Pigeon but he never talked to us. Pigeon Force Police, right here yesterday. And the campground never talked to us. Eight thirty five is when. When we and called he said them. He, uh, it's a long story. I'm just going to call I wonder who they were supposed to have called or contact or if they talked to somebody the, else. The roof. You know? Yeah. And I guess that's. I mean, who carries um, a title or anything else with a trailer? Normally, Tennessee is a no register trailer. Yeah, we don't register. Yeah. And you don't stuff. have to put a tag on it. And that's why I was a little concerned when, when we get these, is because it's so hard to match up because Tennessee doesn't require you to register right. them. So. I don't have to have a tag on it. No, uh uh. Right. No, no. Nothing. I have, a, I have the proof right there. Yeah. You know, though, you they, know, we, we've towed so, cars before people had the keys for it and it wasn't their car. Right. Yeah. I don't love shop. Yeah. And then they'll. And, I know exactly how it is, yeah, you know, I, and we keep everything inside, and and then we charge them a day every day that we keep them. Mm -hmm. But um, bingo, yeah. Mm -hmm. We always, we always, um, mm -hmm. we always know the car. We know we the customer know who's because what? it's local. And, yeah. You know, we have a repair shop. We do a muffler shop and repair shop and all that kind of stuff here in Athens. Yeah. And then I do a classic car restoration shop too. So. I, I buy and sell a lot of stuff, Barrett Jackson, to different places. Yeah. I only bring this up here because I don't care about doing it up. Just mm -hmm. yeah, just something to haul something, yeah. just in case you get in a pinch to right. haul something. But other than that, we we don't bring our good trailers up here. I mean, it's okay, just hang on, not let me see it. if it matches. Well, it came back last night because the PD ran it. So 
Yeah. Your plate came back, and I, I, I just. Stolen, so. They won't <laughs> give me the name. Right. All they'll, all they'll tell me is it's not stolen. They won't give me the name right. associated with the plate. We, we, I don't even know. I guess we registered this through Wilkie Motorsports. His, his uh, son, my grandson, ran into the side of it with a golf cart. So listen, I was afraid when I got there last night, you were going to have some classic car already in it. I just pulled out a Mini Cooper, <laughs> uh, a little Jazzy, and a golf cart. Once we lifted up the front, I said, "Okay, he must have got. It. He must be cruising his car because it's not in there." Cruising <laughs> campground. <laughs> and well, we went to eat that night. Okay, here we go. That's it. Sometimes it's tough to dig through paperwork. I uh, yeah. now I've got a hedge broke on another one. So I got to go get a nut and a washer, a lock and a washer. Oh. And normally I would have all this in my toolbox, but I just bought a new coach. It's going to be tough at this hour, brother, to get what you need hardware-wise. Hardware store downtown. Six o'clock, I think. Pigeon Forge Hardware. He does. I think it's six o'clock. I think Clayboss Campground. Might have yeah, the campground's got a few things Clayboss in there. Campground there on Warriors Valley Road. Where? Clayboss Campground on Warriors Valley Road. It's a little gas station. And there's a campground there beside it. Okay. He's got he's got a big hardware section in there too for for campers and. Okay. I don't know how you get up and down here with your stuff. <laughs> I guess you just get used to it after a while. I don't know. I live on a hill, but not like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Yeah, I got that one. I got wheel chocks on the other side. I'll grab this wheel chalk. Right. Go visit Camp Margarita. <laughs> Not for margaritas, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, it sounds I'll like you. Down sometime tomorrow. That's just me. No, I hear you. It's uh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, we got the receipt, so show him the receipt and all that good stuff, and. I'm gonna see the receipt. <laughs> hopefully, he'll uh. I don't know okay. what the miscommunication is. Uh, oh, y'all aren't the people we're mad at. We're yeah, we just little man at the foot of the hill that I've still got to go talk to him about Jesus mm, before yeah. my Jesus flies out. I got you. That's no, just it's wrong. That's a really bad, really bad deal. And then the security people said we don't tow. Yeah, he this said, and the security guy, the, the man that answered the phone, said you need to go call the police because somebody's stolen your trailer. Oh no! And see, that's why we have to call and report so them because the that. police officer gets really mad if you got to do paperwork right. you don't have to do. And we reported that last night. So and yeah. see, he did not. When we called him, he said, "I don't know. We've never had one. Never had one reported. Nope. Uh, it's in the pass along. I know. <laughs> Y'all talk to the city or the county or is the it city. Anything? Yeah. Well, that was a city guy, wasn't it? I yeah. called him personally myself. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The guy we talked to, the little young like guy. Yeah. He was real nice. I mean, this ain't y'all's fault. It's yeah. just, we're just so mad at them for treating us this way. And they said, well, we called you campground. My campground lady said, we didn't talk to anybody because they have a way to send out a mass mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. people. Oh. Mm. We're the kind of people we don't get in trouble. <laughs> we do stuff by the book. Uh, <laughs> You know what the problem is with this too, and, and we okay, we see it all the time in our businesses. Social media will hurt them worse than this will hurt them. It I does. Promise you. It does. Well, especially when you go talk to this guy's boss. Yes. Mm. Yeah, we're in that same business, and and uh, yeah, word of mouth because everybody everybody that comes into town they read those reviews because yep. they yeah. don't know anything about anything. Yeah. So yes, it's exactly what Kristen said, Margaritaville has bought that and turned it into their fantastic campground. Mm -hmm. And now that, uh, and they've been coming here for years parking that trailer. So they automatically assume that since they've been doing it for all these years that they could just pull right back in there and be fine. But now that Margaritaville owns it, they park there this year and they're up and running and they had them towed. Yes. So that's exactly what happened. And Margaritaville has a sign there. Margaritaville's got signs, there's signs they everywhere. Not to park there. Uh, the guys said they saw them last night. Yes, he he agreed that he saw them. it. That's that's all it boiled down to was that they um, they'd been doing it for all these years, coming here for rod run for whatever 10, 15 years, and they've been parking there, and they assumed that it was okay. But now 
Margaritaville has bought that and turned it into a campground and a resort, and they do not want people parking there anymore. So, um, note to self: always check, always check the uh, the place you're going to park at because it might not be the same on the following year that it was the year before. That's true. Pay to park. <laughs>